So a, a dam is a structure that essentially holds back water. A lot of those facilities are used for potable water resource. So it's a valuable resource to make sure and protect. I'm Drew Flamian with Commonwealth Engineers. I'm a project manager, partner with the company, and I'm part of the dams and levy team that we have assembled. Most of our work deals with a high hazard dam. A high hazard dam is a structure that is likely to cause serious damage. There's so many houses or commercial businesses, infrastructure located downstream of a dam. Many people do not even know that they live below a dam. And if this structure was to breach, it could cause loss of life. I worked uh, 25 plus years with the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, we worked on making the dams compliant with dam standards in order to protect people downstream from the, the dams themselves. Dam owners don't always realize the safety implications of their dams. They see their dam day after day and they don't maybe uh, realize that there's some issues going on that maybe aren't even apparent. So when Commonwealth is contacted by a customer, we will work with them to analyze what needs to be done. It's our role and responsibility to to review their structures and to make sure that the dams themselves are safe. We'll come up with a scope that determines the, the extent of work that we will be looking at. That may start out with more of a preliminary approach until we can see what holistically needs to be done with the structure. We have staff on board that can do the permit applications, work through those processes, as well as CAD and survey. And we can move into feasibility study or to a final design. And so then once the project is completed, these will have a nine month completion walkthrough or some kind of follow up uh, that you, know, you still have the same team all the way through. Um, and then if you're a high hazard structure, you're required to have inspections every two years. And we would still be a part of that if the client desires to just keep that continuity and create a bit of a partnership with the owner. We, we can help them through that entire process so that at the end of the day, they have a safe structure, they're able to keep their lake or whatever asset that that dam is providing, but they're also assured that it's, it's something that meets a reasonable factor of safety and that it's something that the DNR is going to continue to allow them to keep and maintain because it adheres to all the proper standards. Our team is here to assist you through all those endeavors, whether it's just a routine high hazard inspection, or maybe it's a troubleshooting, or, or maybe it's immediate concern. Having a engineer knowing the facility is critical because uh, a minute's time is important. We can be there in immediate action because we know what those potential consequences can be downstream. Senate Enrolled Act number 269. High hazard dam owners will have to complete an emergency action plan. This emergency action plan will identify conditions that may endanger the dam, identifies remedial actions to prevent or minimize the downstream impacts of a dam failure, contains contact to notify local emergency personnel, provide effective communication of the dam's conditions. Uh, it will also contain a plan to notify local emergency personnel of the impending or actual failure or an unusual event that has occurred. 